So who are you? I'm John Carter. I teach math here at Turner's Falls High School. So I hear you have a story for us today. I do. Um, it's a pretty interesting story about how I got this job, actually. Oh. So you guys have heard of The Hunger Games, yes? Yep. Well, when I got the job, that was, that was pretty, a pretty big book. And so uh, rather than doing interviews, what they did is they picked everybody that sent in an application, and they threw all the applications into a big box. Mm -hmm. okay, and we were all told to come after school one day, and we all lined up in the gym, got in, went in the gym, and they picked 10 names out of the box. Okay, And so the 10 of us were like, okay, this, this seems, I guess, pretty fair. We can, we'll try this out. But they didn't tell us beforehand what was going to be happening. And so what they ended up doing is they had created a big arena out on the football field. And we had to have a math off to the death. So, um, you know, I was kind of worried, but, you know, I said, well, you know, I, I need a job, so I, I guess I got to try. So we went out and we had, um, we had a few hours to prepare. So I got to sit down with my sponsor, Ms. Fowler, and she helped me go over a couple things and you know, uh, you know reminded me to make sure that um, I watch my signs and remember all my different rules for calculus and all that. And of course, you know, how to do sine waves and all that other fun math stuff. And so, you know, I went in there, you know, figured, well, you know, I gotta give it my best shot. But to be honest, I was pretty surprised. The first person that killed, and I probably shouldn't say this too much, but, well, uh, the first person that got killed, he couldn't do two plus two. He got five. And so that was pretty quick. I mean, it was kind of right off the bat, you know, that was our first question. Two plus two, he said five. So then, you know, they had the hovercraft come and take his body away. And, um, you know, basically what happens is when you're, when you're doing the math, what happens to this guy is when he wrote down the wrong answer, the board marker, the dry erase marker he was using, exploded with poison gas. Ugh. And that's it. It's actually kind of gruesome to watch. Ooh. So I, I try not to think about that too much. Um, you know, as you might imagine, though, the math eventually got harder. Mm -hmm. um, and um, some of the, the ways, you know, that, you know, like in, in the Hunger Games, there's those, um, what do they call them, the tracker jackers? Yep. So um, one, one guy, he, uh, he tried to evaluate a function, and he got a negative answer when he should have gotten a positive answer, and the tracker jackers just... And so, you know, they got him, and... Because you know how that causes those cause hallucinations, um, and um, he just started screaming about, um, you know, just, you know, why, why, why equals x, and I don't, I don't quite understand what he was trying to say, um, but you know, I was just glad it wasn't me. You know, I again, I was just doing what I had to to survive, um, and. There were some other horrific deaths that I, I like I said, I've, tr I've really tried to um, block that out. I had to go through counseling to try to uh, get my head back on straight because it's been, um, it was pretty tragic and, and pretty horrific. Um, you know, it's, it's even difficult now for me to talk about, but, but I just feel like it's important that you students know what the teachers go through mm -hmm. to come here every day and to teach you and help you uh, learn and make something of yourself. So, um, and of course, anybody, any of you that are thinking of going into teaching, should be aware, should be well aware of what's going on and what it takes to get a job. Um, but in the end, you know, it came down to two of us, and we again had gone through just so much um, tragedy and horror um, that we were both losing our will to survive. We, we were kind of asking ourselves. Do we even really want this job? If this is what we have to do. So, you know, in, in the Hunger Games, the last, um, the last part there is with Katniss, um, and she gets them to bend the rules by making it look like she's, they're both going to die by taking that poison. Um, and so, I challenged the the other person to a a really simple math question. 
I said if y equals 3x, what does x equal? But I said really quietly negative, which you know the, all the cameras picked up. So I was actually yes. saying y equals negative 3x. So I got to solve the wrong question. And I came out on top. Wow. Yeah. And um, it's, it's not my proudest moment, but if I didn't do that, then I might have been the one to die. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had to think of, of my wife and my daughter and you know, be able to support them. That's why I needed this job. Mm -hmm. you know, so it was really important that, um, that I survive and that I, I do what I, what I could talk. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. You're welcome. John. 